What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, episode number 30 with me, Gamer Dude. We've got this mysterious elf that keeps showing up. A wounded elf, huh? Well, there are lots of wounded in Kanabras. Who wounded him? In what way? How should I know? I must... He must have been demons. If the wound was serious, I doubt he was fully recovered from. Maybe you could point me toward a healer. I could... Damn it. In a lightning fast movement, a Nivia knocks something from the wound's hand. An amulet that seems like appeared out of nowhere falls to the ground and disappears to flash magic. What's the rush, sweetheart? Stay a while. The commander may have a couple questions for you. You want to escape this time? What, who are you and why are you hiding your face? Fine, you've got me. We'll talk, but not here. Leave me somewhere away from prying eyes. It's all yours, commander. I caught her, handed her over, and now, as they say, I wash my hands of this whole affair. Nice. <laughs> Good job, Anivia. I knew somebody was going to snag her for me. What do you want from me, soldier? In an exasperated gesture, she rips off the half mask of her face, and you see the black skin and crimson eyes. It's Kalesa. Oh, nice. Why'd you follow my army? To find someone. His masters want me dead, which means I will die sooner or later. But that doesn't mean I'll lie down and accept my fate. I am no lamb to the slaughter. I won't be waiting for a kindly executioner to come for me in a knife in hand. Never again. Are you a spy? I'm not going to hide it. I have come here to commit a violent, bloody act, but I do not serve the demons, and I won't do you or your forces any harm. Don't play coy. I need details. And what will you do with my story? Take it into account and pass your judgment? Kill me if you deem me a, rep rep a reprobate? Help the poor girl if you don't? Well, I haven't asked for help, and your authority to judge me seems rather dubious. She's lying to you. It's plain as day. Call me B. Don't call me soldier. I'm the commander of the crusade. Everyone's a soldier in a war, and generals and privates alike. I look at you, and I see as someone whose life is only war. That makes you a soldier. But other elves who look like you, they serve the demons. And Amora's minions. One of Discari's servants is a powerful elf by the name of Enamora, and those corrupted elves are her lackeys. Don't ask me how I know this or why they're my appearance is similar to theirs. I'm not your enemy, but if you see them, kill them without remorse. Your Kalesa, a cultist of Discari. Corners and camp. I'm, I'm, I don't know. This Kalesa story is weird for me, so I'm, I'm generally letting her live just because it's been odd. Hello. You just standing by the horse out here, bud? Commander. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I don't mind. I'm just curious. Is there anything new for me, Glenn? No, nothing new. That's fine. Maybe if some people have new things. Hey, Horkus. Thanks for the stuff you sent. Show me what you have. I have things to sell. Like lots of things. What's this? Light hammer. We don't use them. Momentum. Whenever the wielder wields this plus two light hammer. Oh. That's really good. Too bad we don't use light hammers. Plus one chain shirts. You use medium armor. Heal for now. I want to go back to the shared stash. That's light armor. Had a heartening song. Blackened mirror. Oh, but. Plus, whenever this wear this cloak of resistance plus two, ooh, and cloak of resistance plus one. Do you have any? You don't have any potions or anything like that. Okay. Um. Nothing in here I really care for too much. It looks like what's this? Something I probably sold him. I'm looking through his stuff for a minute. And we're finally back at the camp, so. I mean, I say finally. It really hasn't been terribly long. Amulet of jousting. We don't have a knight, but we do have a horse. No. I know that really is what I want. These are all just plus ones. I'm looking at the uh, the named ones. Double Jeopardy is fun. Alright. 
Thank you. What about you, blacksmith? Where's my person that sells um, potions and stuff? Probably in like the healer's tent, right? Probably. Which is where again? Chapel tent. Maybe. No, no probably not in there. Field medic tent. That one. Follow me. I think he's in here. I do want to look at this and see if you're selling anything useful. Like a bag of holding or something. No. I'd like a scroll of remove blindness, but you don't seem to have it. Thank you. That's what I wanted. It's just all our resources. Cape of Pest Control. Red Salamander. Spontaneously cast the following sense. That's pretty good. All right. Thank you. I need that. So, thank you. Uh, actually, let's talk to Forn. None of the elves just look like Kalesa. A few years ago, a sect of demon worshippers were uncovered in Kayon, and they were followers of Daskari who had been brought together by his priestess and Amora. Naturally, as soon as the truth was revealed, a hunt for these evil zealots was called. They were all marked with the same brand of darkness as their leader, the wicked Kalesa. The sect was soon destroyed, but some of the cultists managed to escape, pursued them in order to eradicate the evil and root out the branch. It is of great shame that the children of the noble nation have besmirched themselves with this taint. I would be grateful if the confession were kept between us. I found Kalissa spying on the camp, and you should be on the lookout for her accomplices. Her demonic masters must have seen, sent her to plot against you, and since she's already made her way into camp, she will strike soon. I hope you weren't as merciful with this time. She left alive and unharmed. And she deceived you once more. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. Probably did. I'm of the opinion that I'm going to keep doing it. We need to rest in the camp to remove some of this terribleness. What scroll would you like to scribe? Um, this one. If we're going to scribe things, let's scribe that. Though you are a complicated person, Daren, I do respect you for your healing talent. Anyone who eases another's suffering cannot be entirely hopeless. You may want to recall the circumstances in which I received my healer's gift. Here's a hint. It wasn't of my own choosing. I would have rather avoided that episode in my life. But you didn't like all your people getting murdered? That's weird. I figured you'd have been fine with it. I was trying to reset the uh, terribleness, whatever it's, whatever it's called. These are notable, so I'm gonna keep them on me. I keep that thing Not on me. Oh, no, I just want to area exit at this point. I like my team. Especially now that I'm going to remove blindness. So I'm going to keep them. Keep them for now. Maybe change it up later. Who knows? Okay. Army. Did you to bide if you don't mind? just don't seem good. <laughs> like, they just don't seem good, you know? Okay, maybe we'll do it that way. Um, we need to get to Chili Creek. I'm kind of hoping this army can 
get a little better at some point. Uh, yeah, no, don't do that. No, I didn't want you to fight them. I don't want you to fight them. I just wanted you to walk forward. Give me the choice if I'm going to fight them or not. Well, this isn't good. It's not what I wanted at all. I didn't realize it was going to make me do that. I don't want to give these guys the scouts. Let's see here. We can have the, the mounted scouts there. Seems good to me. So twos are too big for you. The one is the only thing that you, like, have a chance against, and you, you, you weren't really, like, ready for that fight either, is the thing. Maybe I'll move you along this road just to scout for a second. Don't go all the way into the fight, please. Thank you. Just having you do some scouting for me personally at the moment. Now. You. to be fighting some people get that morale still going up i like this aspect though i don't think i'm very good at it you look terrifying die step in front i figured they could make it around that's why i did that you too, but sure. Wait, why can I do, like, no damage to you now? This is kind of terrifying. Oh, these guys are gonna a fight, aren't they? Yeah, they're definitely uh, holding their own. It's okay. Them, as we kill them, they slowly get to be Doing less and less damage. And I can heal myself with my clerics. If I start losing too many. Just keep stabbing away. I feel like they're getting stronger the weaker they get. Like they're getting tankier. Special forces. What's that? Armor units. I mean, I'm going to win this fight. It's just going to take a minute. I mean, my clerics are actually the ones beasting through them is the thing. Congratulations. Probably heal the more clerics this turn. Start making sure we're not losing too many of them. I have plenty of heals, so... Might as well not use the infirmary if I don't have to. 
my clerics just keep clicking it's fine i see why they this was a like a two it's like they just they're just tanky <laughs> they're not really hard they're just tanky we still got like eight turns left before we're done with this fight maybe not eight turns maybe like six turns Turn 71, by the way, in case you were curious. Minus four penalty of shooting into combat, but that's okay. Look at that, good job, archers. Are you done yet? Okay, you're dead next turn. Turn 86, which I guess it's not really turn 86, it's just turn like, cause there's like four people going, so yeah. <clears throat> Goodbye. That was a long fight. the hell knights gotcha well, this is like probably one of the biggest armies we've fought <clears throat> should have saved lots of these guys that's terrifying we must protect our archers these guys hit hard Slow your bad selves down. I can take them out. Take them out. Nice. They're in to my archers now. That's not good. Can't step to here. Okay. If you say so. Yeah, yeah, I see you guys being angry. Firing your shots off at me and all that. You see this? I heal myself. And I get up in here with these guys. Don't just walk away. That's just rude. They really hate my clerics, don't they? yourself a heal clerics. Not trying to lose some of you right now, honestly. Nice force is really <laughs> Just keep healing yourself. Kill three, please. Nice. Huge. Alright, now we just have to worry about this group. Should be getting everybody back from the infirmary, so we should have this in the bag. Nice. Brimarox are destroyed. Five, eight, one. Beautiful. Got them all back. I thought we would. I thought the thing. After the battle, one of the soldiers noticed a half, a half a faced inscription on a nearby stone. What remained of the engraving of the Crusaders to a secluded cave where they found a stash of miscellaneous relics that. Selflessly devoted clerics have managed to rescue from fallen dresden. They also discovered flasks of sanctified oils and boxes of reagents for rituals and sacred masses. It would appear that the brave priests hid their sacred artifacts in one final attempt to save them from the demonic threat. A seven. Oh my. <clears throat> Master of Maneuvers two. More 
units. I accept. You've used all your movement, haven't you? Come back. Um, you guys meet up and combine forces again, if you don't mind. At the moment, I don't see a need to have two armies, is why I'm doing it that way. Okay. I do want to go back to here, so... That's what I'll do. Let's actually uh, get a little bit of save in there. Approach. Traveling merchant. Let's see what they've got. Could have some neat things. Who knows? Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. Skeletal salesman. Uh-huh. Hi. Skeleton in a wa is walking across the waist. He moves with hep in a step, humming a tune. His skull bobs in a chorus of the humming, making coins inside his head clink rhythmically. Next to him, nightmarish horses of flame and shadow draw the cart, loaded with valuable-looking items. Upon seeing you, the skeleton offers a dramatic and hearty wave. Good evening to you there. Or is, the, or is this what days look like in your world wound? Can't really tell. No matter. Be it day or night, the skeletal salesman always has the best deals you can find anywhere. As a rule, I offer a free sample of my merchandise to every new customer. I try to tailor my wares to the individual. Say I made a kid soon, I can crack a joke about how I'd offer them a free potion of fox cunning, but then they must have enough of that already. The customer feels flattered, they take the sample, and I've immediately established a rapport. But dealing with humans is hard. You can't joke about their horns or their fox-like features. Still, I know what I, I what I can offer you as a free sample, something that suits you perfectly. What would you like? Uh, what do you sell? Oh, I have the widest choice of merchandise. Right now, I have a fine selection of magical, mystical spell thingies every wizard could want. By the way, could you advise me on what would be what would sell best in these parts now i have a choice of exotic wares from faraway lands there's some personal protection equipment and a whole arsenal for a hunter <clears throat> um i want to see the exotic wares noted see me on the roads when you're not too busy uh tell me about yourself i'm a simple man i keep no secrets you can see right through me <laughs> what would you like to know how did you become who or uh, what you are Oh, now that's a story and a half. Listen well and don't repeat my mistakes or you won't be able to live with yourself. Get it? All right, moving on. Once I was just like you, exploring all sorts of ruins and filling my pockets with riches until I stumbled upon into a Draco Lich's lair. That's one scary beast, let me tell you. A Lich and a dragon. He would have eaten me whole had I not suggested a deal. I would sell off all the blades and armor left by previous adventures. Surely he didn't have much use for all that equipment, but he could earn a tidy sum of gold. Surprisingly, he agreed, but that didn't just that, but that didn't save my life. Instead, he just turned me into a walking pile of bones. And what do you know? That was just the beginning of my troubles. For a long time, I wandered the river kingdoms, peddling wares until I met one devious scoundrel. First glance, he looked decent enough, decked out in armor, clearly a paladin, and he asked me where my master's lair was. Obviously, he wasn't the first to take interest, but the Draco Lich was no slouch. He put an enchantment on me that I couldn't even remember the lair's location. However, this knight turned out to be quite the wizard, too. I'm no expert in magic, but basically he offered to perform a ritual that would reveal the location of my master's lair. Then, he and his pals would kill the Draco Lich and give me my freedom, plus half of the horde. Sounds like a sweet deal, huh? So I agreed, like a fool. He showed me and the contract, and it seemed alright to me, so I just signed it right then and there. We conducted the ritual, and the knight found out my, where my master was hiding by looking at some astral tracks or whatnot. Long story short, they killed the Draco Lich, the knight offered me half of my treasure as promised, and then, as per the terms of a contract, he demanded payment for the ritual's components. For my freedom, and then there were taxes, excise fees, and fines. Before I knew it, I had to give him all my loot, and I still couldn't even cover my debt, and so he offered me a way to repay it by working, as before, for his master this time. Thus, I'm still traveling, peddling, and all that until I could earn every last coin that I owe him. And you know what? To pay off that kind sum, I'm sure I'll have to keep working until... Grotus brings the end of times. Hmm. Now that's a story, isn't it? Someday I might even write a tragic play about it myself. I'll call it The Undeath of a Salesman. As for the morale, the mor or the moral, the moral of the story is this. Watch what you sign. The lesson is free. For the rest of this, of what's in the fine cart, you'll have to pay in gold. Do you, do you trade with everyone? everyone? Crusaders and demons and worshippers alike? You bet what I... What do I care about what side of yours is winning anyway? If both of them are buying my wares, business is booming. If everyone needs a weapon and a good set of armor, you sell one thing, the next day you bring back it back all ragged and full of holes looking for a replacement. Sure, this war will probably end one day. Maybe the Crusades, Crusaders will finally patch up the Abyssal Hole, or maybe the whole region will fall through it. That's when I'll pack up and go elsewhere. Galarian is a big place. I can always find new customers. Do you want me to try to free you from this curse? No thanks. Been there, done that. Only made things worse. I had enough help. I'll make do. Who's your new master? They tell you the knight looked like a paladin? Well, he wasn't anything of the sort. On the contrary, he was serving a mammon, the Archdevil of Avarice. It's the one he sold me to, guts and all, although by then I had no guts, really. <clears throat> oh. Now, at least if somebody asked me where my master's lair is, then I can honestly say Erebus, the third layer of hell, of the royal treasure entrance by appointment only. Thanks for your answers. Well, fine, give me your free sample. Here you go. A heroic gift for a heroic person. Nice. Show me your wares, buddy. 
Here, take a good look. Pick anything you like. Buy all of it. Well, we, we have to look, right? I mean, so he's got a lot of potions. Whoa. Just a straight scroll of resurrection, huh? Probably going to buy that. Probably going to buy that. Yeah, gonna buy that. Thanks! Thanks, buddy. Now, where was I? It's giving you plus two strength and con. That's where I was. Perfect. Also, before I forget, let's make sure my people are wearing cloaks of resistances. Let's see? some of them weren't all right you can finally have one then there you go thanks skeleton sales okay they're nightmares that would have been a hard fight <laughs> that probably would have been a hard fight if i chose to attack him i'm pretty sure nightmares are pretty strong i mean it's been it's been a while since i fought them in any D, &D campaign or anything like that or Pathfinder campaign or whatever, but from what I can remember, nightmares are strong. All right, let's go. Sweet traveling salesman, that's awesome. Our reagents, I'm gonna try to collect them. It's okay. I'm sure we'll be exhausted after we travel this far. Fatigued, fatigued, fatigued. Yeah. What is this? Search. Oh. You cost a lot of money. I think we'll just build up our resources for now. Uh, you guys need to rest. Could you for once just hit the DC though? That'd be great. Like you have to roll a five. Can we not roll a five? Thank you. Oh yeah, I should probably. Use that scroll, huh? Scroll of blindness. There we go. No longer blind. Fantastic. Yes, I would like to enter this location. This do be where I wish to be. Alright. Conundrum unsolved. Let us be off. That looks safe. We're moving in a, a sideways angle here. I'm going to approach from a different angle than they want me to. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Cave. Is this like part of like a world wound? It March must off. be, right? Huh, interesting. Nothing to even examine about that. That's crazy. All right. Well, before we go in this cave, we're definitely gonna pop a save. Pop a save. <laughs> this is my path. Yeah. Everyone knows riding horses in caves are really the, for the best. Hello. Onwards. See loot. Generally, things to fight for loot. Let us be off. It's like a temple. Oh, it looks like a puzzle. Oh, this looks like a puzzle. Slab with white symbol. Slab with white symbol. Slab with white symbol. Slab with white symbol. 
side with two light symbols. Oh god. Let's move. Initiate puzzle mode. Ready. All right. Is there some hints? Follow me. Oh, it just goes. Oh no, it doesn't just goes. Some of them just goes. Okay. Um blue, white, red, white, blue. <laughs> Spider? The symbols look all the same to me. Wait, they're definitely not all the same. Stone slab with two white symbols. A stone slab with two white symbols. Do they need to match? Is it like a dominoes thing? Like, do I need to match this and this? So in that case, if I could do that, that'd be, that's backwards. No, that one doesn't go there then. If it's to do with matching, I, I don't know. It might not be to do with matching at all. Huh. Earn, earn. I mean, I guess I can just see what happens if I lay in. Oh, uh, something happened. I just. <laughs> okay. It was easy, wasn't it? Simple puzzle, simple solution, but it was just the beginning. Its purpose was to awaken curiosity. Oh, puzzles, I love them. Mortals are not meant to unveil the secrets of the universe and grasp the meaning of creation, but is this really so? Of course not. The secrets of the universe will only be revealed to those most worthy as mortals. Prove yourself and be the first for whom all secrets of the world are revealed. Yes, yes, what do we need to do? The heart of mystery is located west of here. Solve the puzzle and you comprehend the forbidden knowledge. You can count on me, translucent masked figure. I'll solve any puzzles you have, so you better prepare the good ones. Who are you? Who are you? Simple puzzle, simple solution. The heart of mysteries located west. Who are you? Comprehend the meaning of the creation for the mo worthy of mortals. Secret. I think you've broken it. <laughs> I broke it. My bad. Okay, so I was overthinking the puzzle, perhaps. I don't know. March off. Maybe. Loot. Oh, <gasps> more barding. What's this? Oh, nice. Oh, the notes. Delay poison. Inflict wounds potion. How am I gonna get somebody drinking and flick the wounds potion, huh? You already have barding, but not as good. For armor. Oh yeah, that armor is much better. I like to make sure his AC is high. All right, interesting. Let us be. What if we needed these? What if we took these with us? Take him with me. You never know. Let's move. You never know. Here, we'll actually do a hard save here. Basil. Basil Rim. Just in case. Follow me. Just in case we need to come back and I and I miss something like terrible. And to the west, there are more Basils at the Basil Room. Well, that's nice. A little area with no fighting. That's that's fantastic. I love it. Oh god, a mimic warning. Oh, look out. Go to the heart of mystery. 
Where do be the heart of mystery? Said to the west. Whoa, way over here. How do I get to that? Probably through them. Oh no. That's like a late game thing then, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna go towards these guys. Do have movement points left, nice. Um, well, I mean, we're probably gonna head up this way with them, so take out some demon armies while we're here. The scouts can be on their own. Protect them. Continue. Should have saved before that, but oh well. What the heck? Damage to those. Yeah, take them out. I mean, if I can take them out that fast, then that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> now your AC. Is 21. How is yours? 12 and 17. So you should be up here getting in tank mode. Probably. Are these things evil? It doesn't appear that way. I don't want to put you in harm's way until I know how much damage they actually do. Okay, they don't do too much damage. They're not concerning me too much. As long as we can take them out, I'm happy. I think the fire one was going to do a lot of damage, honestly. And we didn't let it get up to attack. So. My morale enables the rangers to attack again. I swear that's also like a... Uh, a thing from, like, Heroes of Might and Magic as well. Still attacking my tanks, huh? I mean, yeah, this is not really a... Not really a fight I was too concerned about, actually. For once, you know, we're getting into a fight that seems simple. Some of these rangers actually do a lot of damage. Like, there's seven of them, and they're doing, like, a little bit less than half of what 94 archers are doing. I'm assuming there's some damage reduction, and that's what's going on. Oh, nice. Attack again. Now we get to fight the tanky ones. Power attack, yeah. Surround and beat. Well, luckily we haven't really lost many people. I think we lost like one cleric. You guys do so much damage. Is flanking involved in this? I don't know, maybe. Talk about a freaking tank to fight. Holy heck. These guys. These guys are tanky. Got one, finally. I feel like they only had two. Maybe I'm wrong. Two earth elementals are just tanky as heck. <clears throat> and at least they hit very low on my high AC shield bears there. We have to nearly be getting there, right? Yeah, we're to zero to one now, so they're really close to die. 
I'll take it. Except destroy these terrible, terrible foes. After pacifying the elements of elementals, the soldiers found the remains of a cultist sorcerer in the middle of a broken summoning circle. Despite his apparently outstanding magical powers, unable to control the ravaging, ranging spirits he brought into existence, his stiff fingers still clutching the horrendous flail he used as a weapon. I want to see the flail we got. Tyranny of the Mind. Plus two flail that can be safely wielded by non-good characters. Each time the wielder of this weapon lands a hit with it, the enemy will pass a will save. Oh, nice. So you're done. This is my army of scouts. I'm not sure what the scouts' point is because I don't think they fight very well at all, but maybe they can get like through Leper's Smile or something. Maybe. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. But also, that is, uh, if we start this one, it's going to take too long, dude. It's going to take too long. We're not going to be able to do it. We'll start it. We'll start it. It's fine. I already know this is going to be a long one, though. Mysteries can wait till tomorrow. Yeah, of course you're tired. But you don't matter too much if you're tired, honestly. Where are you guys going? Commander, come here quickly! From the mountain, you see a raided camp and two groups of warriors, one wearing white and a yellow armor, the other in black. They are led by a tall man in white's priest robe. Some of the warriors glance around, fretfully, their weapons shaking their hands. You hear the screams of gargoyles from above. The beasts are approaching. Quickly! The evacuate the wounded! The beasts are about to strike again! Use cloaks as stretchers! We've got to make it through! Paralictor, your people will have to cover us while... Two more minutes left out in the open, and neither you nor I will have any troops left to order about Crusader. But the wounded... But the wounded... Oh. Okay. Retreat to shelter. If the man in the white has anything farther to add, his words are drowned out by the tricks of cargo as they fall from the sky. All right, Hell Knights are a little, a uh, little rude. Victory at all costs, huh? The Paralictor will lead the unit to the shelter. We need to get through to them. Paralictor can die at this point. Hi there, buddy. Oh yeah, I see him. March on. Oh yeah, I see. Oh yeah, I see. I see him. I see him. I'm ready. I saw him. They better not get a surprise round. I seen him. I like when you go after Sila. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Wow, these are actually way weaker than I thought they would be. Oh, this one's bigger. This one's bigger. Uh, can you be put to sleep? I doubt it. You can? What? That's good to know. Forward! The light take you! Cover me, alright? Oh, what happened to you? Oh, you got the, the disorienting thing. That's right. Uh, you're not in a fun spot, are you? No. Uh, you just chill. You won't survive me. There's this one. Who has a 21 AC? It's a little bit tougher, I guess. Probably the one we already tried to sleep too, isn't it? Yep. Surrender or else. That's okay. We won't. Fall. No glory without risk. Stab you or zap you? Why not? This one has a little bit more uh, attack power and AC and stuff. I bet, Onwards. but still pathetic. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we will see what we're going to do about these crazy people that are murdering people down here. See you guys then. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.